girls, it's me, Brie, here with Destiny Kids, and I want to wish you a huge Merry Christmas. It's about that time, so make sure you buckle in your seatbelts real, real good, and we are about to have a blast today, so let's go see what's coming up next. <laughs> For our wacky fact of the day, did you know that the world's largest gift was given about 134 years ago? Yeah, and it was the Statue of Liberty. And you know that thing is huge. So the facts are that it is 151 feet and one inch tall, and it weighs 225 tons. Whew, that is wacky, but it's Christmas, so we're all giving gifts. Is anybody giving a gift that big? Well, if you can do it, go ahead, but if not, give your best. Even if it's a hug or an I love you or a really cool thing, it doesn't matter. Just give the gift of being you. Now let's go check out our Bible lesson. today's Bible lesson, I have a really cool story to tell you, and that's the story of Christmas, why we celebrate Christmas. So wherever you are, grab some hot cocoa and a cozy, fuzzy, warm blanket and gather around and we are going to have story time. So God had a plan to send a rescuer to the world, but there was a couple of things that he had to do first before he did that. And the first thing was he sent an angel to Mary to tell her, she was a girl named Mary, and he told her, he said, you're gonna have a baby, and that baby is gonna be the savior, the rescuer of the world, and his name is gonna be Jesus. Man, Mary was so scared because first of all, it's a huge angel that God sent to her, and second of all, she was about to have a baby. Those are two pretty big things. And so all of a sudden she said, well, okay, I wanna serve God no matter what it takes, I'll do it. And so then, he was like, okay, check one. And then he had to go and he had to do the second thing. So he sent an angel to Joseph. And Joseph was the man that Mary was going to marry. And so the angel went to Joseph and he told Joseph, hey, Joseph, you and Mary are about to have a baby and he's going to be the savior, the rescuer of the world, and his name is going to be Jesus. And the same thing happened. Joseph was scared because it was a huge angel right there and because he was about to be a dad to none other than Jesus, the rescuer of the world. That's a pretty big deal too. But they both agreed and now that was the second thing checked off. And so time went on and time went on and Mary had a big belly and she was pregnant with Jesus. And so then the king sent out an announcement. He said, hey guys, we're about to count everybody in all the towns, so make sure that you're there. And so Joseph was like, well, I gotta take my, my Mary, <laughs> my wife, and we have to go to my town so we can be counted. And so they got on their donkey, loaded all their stuff up. Mary's pregnant, full belly. And so they go to the town of Bethlehem. And so they go there and they, to be counted, just like the king said, and when they get there, they knock on the first door. It's kind of like a hotel. And they were like, hey, do you have any room? We just need a room to stay. Mary's really pregnant and we need, you know, we need a place to stay. And they were like, I'm so sorry, there's no room. So they go to another place and they're knocking, they're trying to find a place and just none of these places have room. And so there was this one place and it was called a stable. And a stable is kind of like a barn if you've ever seen it. It's where all the animals stay and it's probably really smelly, but there's really cool animals around, so that's a plus. But they ended up having to stay there. And while they were there, Mary ends up having Jesus, a little baby. And well, they were all by themselves. And so God sent another angel to some shepherds in another town and said, hey, today, in the city of David, you have a savior. The rescuer of the world is born. And if you go, you'll find him wrapped in all these blankets, these cut up rags, basically. And you'll find him there laying in a manger. And you're like, what's a manger? Well, let me tell you. A manger is kind of like what all the animals ate out of, like all the hay and scratchy stuff. Yeah, so Jesus was laying in there wrapped up in some cloths. And so, man, they had the best birthday party for him. They had shepherds come and they had wise men come and bring him gifts. And man, that is so 
cool that God thought of all of these steps, all of these steps to do one thing, and that is to rescue me and to rescue you. And you're like, rescue me from what? Well, rescue you from the world, from anything bad, from the evil that's going on. And so Jesus is that. He is the rescuer of the world, the savior of the world. And that is how we have Jesus, and that is why we celebrate Christmas. So today, whenever you're with your family or at Christmas when you're with your family, just remember the real reason why we celebrate, and that's to just say, happy birthday, Jesus. Thank you for coming and rescuing me. We are about to do our crazy craft, so make sure you gather all your supplies that's listed below and let's go see what it is. For today's crazy craft, we are going to paint our very own Christmas tree and then decorate it and put glitter on it and all kind of stuff. So let's see what we need. So we need tape, scissors, some cardstock paper only to really wipe your paint off so paper plate or paper towel will work too. And then some yarn, I have some different colored pom-poms, your wooden Christmas tree, pipe cleaners, some paint brushes, I have a paint palette to hold all my paint in, all my paints, and of course, glitter. So let's jump right in. Super 
fun game. And the object of this game is we have items that are completely wrapped in Christmas wrapping paper and you have to close your eyes super, super tight and then you have to unwrap it while your eyes are closed and try and feel and guess what it is. If you can guess all five items in under 60 seconds, you are the winner. So let's go see if you can win. game and what it is is it's a ball that's formed out of plastic wrap and inside is all of these different holiday trinkets and so the object of the game is to unwrap it as fast as you can and collect as many trinkets as you can in 60 seconds so let's go ahead and see how we play of fun today, I know I did. And again, I want to wish you a huge Merry Christmas. Make sure you have tons of fun. Tell everybody around you, your family, your friends, how much you love them and wish them a big Merry Christmas just the same. And if you wanna see more videos just like this one, make sure that you like, share, subscribe, hit all the buttons, and I'll see you next time right here on Destiny Kids.